Hi folks, uh, Jack Summers, Smoky Mountain Scientific, and today what I'm going to do is hopefully stitch together a bunch of little videos that uh, will show you how to uh, get Energia, the Energia program, set up on your computer. Okay, so download it and get it working and, uh, and get it appropriately configured to... Uh, to edit and and uh, replace the firmware on launchpad development boards. All right, so I made these uh, I made these videos first, and uh, I've got some some uh, mistakes I made, and well, we'll just kind of do what we do. Anyway, what you're going to have to do is you have a couple of files you need to download. You need to download the Energia program from energia.nu. Uh, you go there, find the download link, and uh, download the, the program onto your computer. All right, there's also a driver file that you need to, to find. You'll, uh, you'll have to look on Google, Google for uh, uh, Launchpad Tiva, T-I-V-A, and Driver, and that should get you to the Stellaris ICDI driver file uh, download page. Anyway, you, dry, you uh, download that, and then you need, to, uh, you need to go into Device Manager and get Get the uh, the drivers for the the launch pad uh, set up properly. Okay, that's something I screwed up in the in the um, in the videos. So uh, I screwed it up initially, but we got it figured out, and hopefully you'll be able to follow uh, how to do this and and all like that. Yeah, see, I I use Energia all the time, but uh, this this tutorial is about getting it set up on a new computer that does not have it set up. And this is things, these are things I don't do every day or every time I use the, use the tool. So it's not things that I'm, um, that are top of mind. Anyway, let's see, you got the, the, um, the program downloaded, you got the driver file downloaded. There's a library that does not come with Energia that is needed to run uh, the instrument that I'm going to be working with in, in subsequent videos. This is something that's used uh, as in, uh, in communicating with one of the chips on my board. Uh, it's used serial peripheral interface and it uses a 16-bit word. You have to transfer a 16-bit word and to do that I had to write a small library file and it's called alt SPI and you'll see in the in the videos that I screwed this up the first time I went through it I forgot to download it now if you get the uh, if you get the software from me if you get an instrument from me I will provide that alt SPI on the on a uh, memory stick that that you can just install on your computer it's important that you get the the library put in the right file, and that that is something that's that we go over in this video as well. Okay, um, once you have Energia up and running, you need to select the correct board, right? So we we're, we're going to be using the Tiva C Launchpad boards from Texas Instruments. And that's not something that uh, is is the one of your first options to call up. So we're going to have to go through the boards manager, and and that will be something you go through in this in this tutorial as well. All right. So um, once I opened up the boards manager uh, in the video, you'll see that I went and did some other uh, internet work while it was downloading the correct board files and that caused my computer to hang up and you know, caused me some trouble. So hopefully uh, that won't confuse you. All right, so uh, last little note here that I have is that the, the drivers have to be installed using a device manager. So once you have the, the um, your instrument hooked up, you go into device manager 
and look for the ICDI drivers and uh, uh, you'll, you'll need to uh, install the drivers at that point. That's something that I screwed up. So anyway, I hope this video helps you out and um, I wish you well. All right, so today I'm going to talk about uh, getting Energia set up on your, uh, on your computer. And what we did is we went to energia.nu slash download. Actually, you go to energia.nu and then you hit this download thing, brings you to this screen. And then you come down to where it says Windows Binary Release, pick the, uh, the most recent one. You click on that, and you will have downloaded the uh, the this file, right? Uh, clicking on open file, and then uh, un and saving the unzipped or unzipping and extracting all of the all of the files to the uh, whatever whatever location you want. Uh, that that's what we've done. We've also gone to this website uh, and I will provide information on that that's https backslash backslash www.ti.com tool Stellaris ICDI drivers if you just type uh, if you just google the phrase uh, launchpad drivers uh, and throw in their Tiva drivers you'll you'll definitely get uh, this as your number one hit and you get in there, you download the drivers, you come up to here, and this is the file you'll get. You open that up and uh, load it onto your, your computer. All right, so it's on the C drive. It's in Program Files. That's where I opened it up. And there it is, Energia 1.8.10-23. All right. And now we're looking for the program, which is here, and double-clicking on that should open up Energia. Okay, I'm not sure why that didn't stay on the front. There we go. All right, so here is our, uh, our uh, not user interface, our environment, our development environment. And now what we want to do is we want to open our program in that. The program that was uh, provided on the... Um, on the on the the uh, USB drive, right? Okay, so I have put that on the desktop. So let's find the desktop. So I copied it to the desktop. Uh, it's in this folder, Galvanostat 1207-2020, and it's called Galvanostat 1207-2020.ino. Okay. So let's see what happens if we double click on this. It might try to start up. Um, oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, so look for another app on this PC. And we're going to find it somewhere like this. Program files, x86, there it is. Energia, open. All right. So since I uh, since I selected always open this particular type of file using Energia, it should open it up every time. All right. So what you need to do is make sure you have all of your subroutines, right? All of your tabs in your uh, in your Energia file. Okay. And this has a main tab, an analog read tab that deals with analog reading, right? So uh, there's a DAC write, digital to analog converter write, a uh, tab talking about serial communications, a tab says begin run. All right, so there's all these different tabs, and if you only see one tab, it means that uh, that your your file structure is wrong, okay? So if this were in a different file, it wouldn't see all these different, all these uh, other files, and it would not, well, it would open, but it would not run properly, okay? So we should be able to 
uh, compile, but I think we're going to get an error message, alt-spi. Dang, I forgot to put the alt-spi directory on there. Okay. Anyway, that that has to be done. The other thing you, you'll have to do is, is pick the right board. And we are not using the MSP EXP 430 blah, blah, blah. What we are using is something else. Okay, so we have to uh, find the right board, right? And uh, what we need to do is, since our board is not on this list, we're gonna have to gonna go, going to have to go into Boards Manager, and we're going to have to find the Tiva C boards. Okay, so Energia Tia, Tiva C boards, that's what we want. Okay, so we're going to hit Install there. And once that is installed, we'll be able to select the correct board. In the meantime, in the meantime, I got to figure out what I want to do about the uh, uh, the alt um, alt SPI file because that's something that's a mo that I modified from a an existing file, and I need to get that and down and uh, put it on this computer. All right, let's think about this. Let's go to boom, 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 boom. Let's see here. Uh, Smoky Mountain Scientific GitHub. Find that thing. That's what we're looking for. Or is it this one that we're looking for? No, that's what we're looking for. GitHub site. All right, and we're looking for the Alt SPI. There it is. Boom. And download zip. Okay. And I'm just kind of hoping this works. Alt SPI master. Huh. Okay. All right, we need to extract all, and we need to extract that to our, our uh, well, to the right place, right? So it's not that. We want to find our documents, and then there's an Energia file here, and then there's a libraries file there, and that is what we want. So we're going to extract that to there. Alt SPI master. All right, so there's our CPP file and our H file. Those are the things that we need. Let's see what the README says. Okay, so Alt SPI master. I think that master needs to be removed from the name in order to make this work. So let's just do that. Boom, delete that. And if we need to put it back on there, we'll do it then. All right, so we're still installing the uh, the boards manager, the uh, and I guess I'll be editing some some stuff out of this. Uh, when it finishes, we'll deal with that. In the meantime, we will go back to where we were, which is not going to let us do it, is it? All right, so we. Uh, we had a little issue there. My computer hung up while we were downloading and installing the uh, from the boards manager, right? So now I uh, restarted the computer and and downloaded and installed these Energy Ativa C boards. So it says installed, and we're just going to take it at its word that that worked. So close that up. Um, now you can see that I got another error message when I compiled. All right, so we uh, we had an error message you can see here. It says error compiling for board MSP430 la 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 la. It says down here that that board that's the board we're using, right? So what we need to do is go up to tools and select the correct board. We just uh, we just downloaded the boards manager, the Tiva C options, the one we want is the TM, uh, TM4C123, 80 megahertz. So we'll select that. We'll hit the compile button, and hopefully 
after a little bit of time it will come back and say all good done compiling all right so last time we uh, well in the earlier time when we compiled we had a problem because it did not have this library installed this alt spi.h and I went to the GitHub site and downloaded that. You should have the Alt SPI libraries in on your uh, on your memory stick. So let's go in here and show you something about where they go. Okay, so we're going to go into File and then Preferences, and this will tell you where your sketchbook is. Okay and it needs to go in a library folder in the sketchbook. You can see my sketchbook location is C, Users, Summers, Documents, and Ergea. And we'll say OK to that. And we will find us, man, everything's a mess here. Uh, we'll find our uh, documents, Energia, and in the Energia file, there's a file called Libraries. You may have to make this yourself. You go in there, and that's where this Alt SPI thing needs to be. And inside the Alt SPI, there's the Alt SPI.h file that it's looking for, the Alt SPI.cpp file that it's looking for, and there should be a README thing that you can you should be able to open with something like Notepad. Okay. All right. So this says blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's where this thing has to be. Okay, so now that we've see, we see that it has compiled, right? And at this point, we can plug our, our instrument in and power it up. And why is it not powering up? It is, it is powered up, okay. All right, so we have to be on the correct port, and it looks like our options are COM3 and COM4, okay? One of those things should go away if we power it back down. Okay, so powering that thing down, let's see which one went away. Okay, it looks like COM4 went away. So what we need to do is power it back up, and now we select COM4. Com port 4 and upload the program. All right. Might take a little bit of time. Uh oh. Serial port failed. Operation was aborted. That looks like it's working. All right. So let's see. Last time we were having trouble. Uh, the selected serial port failed, right? And after screwing around a little bit, it occurred to me that our drivers were never installed. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the, the device manager. Ah, let's see, we have other devices. And let's see what happens when we click on one of these things. Okay. And uh, let's see, drivers for this device are not installed. No compatible drivers to find one. Update the driver. Okay, let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, uh, what we want to do is not automatically search. We downloaded these things, right? And they're not in that place. They are in, let's see, I put them on the... Uh, program files under C and somewhere in here it's going to say launchpad ICDI drivers because that's what I called it. Okay, so hmm. Stellaris and I'm not sure which of these I should be using. Uh, that one perhaps. Uh, let's just click on that one and say let's see what it does next now it's installing the the uh, updating the drivers installing them would you like to install this, uh, this device software yes okay I'm surprised it's allowing me to do this but let's see what happens okay we're still seeing some kind of issue there. Update the driver. 
browse for the software. Next. Okay, so it has finished installing the drivers. Okay, it's still looking, I'm not so sure about this. Let's see. It says working properly, the driver. Okay, all looks good. All right, details. Looks good. All right, so that's all looking acceptable. I don't know what the little exclamation marks are for there. Let's see what happens now when we try to upload the software. We are on COM4 still, so hopefully this should work. Let's uh, compile. Should compile okay. Ah, success. All right, it says fail to load the dynamic library, but that happens all the time. What we're looking for is success here. Okay, so finally we got this thing a working. And now we can check it out on the serial monitor. And it's not showing us anything because the baud rate is incorrect. Let's take a look at... Uh, at uh, the on the main tab during the setup get down to setup there it is it says serial begin 115200 so what we need to do is set the serial rate to 115200 and now it should be able you should be able to uh, talk to it program up this should just cause a light to blink and that's working we load this back up. Okay, we're going to close this thing and try it again. Tools, serial monitor. We have that thing looking okay. Uh, star, enter, nothing. Let's make sure I know what I'm saying here. It's serial. Okay, the character is star. It should be responding to us. And I don't know why it's not. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, we showed you how to get uh, how to get Energia up and running. And hopefully that that will work out for you. You'll be able to get that going. So, yeah. I'm going to figure out what's what's going on here, and I will make another video uh, describing the firmware that we just loaded onto the onto the instrument here. All right, so good luck with that.